Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic, Haunted Castle. Haunted Castle is a side-scrolling platform game that was developed by Konami in 1988. Now, I never saw this game in the arcades. I ran into this game by accident a few years ago on MAME and found that it kind of felt like a Castlevania game. I mean, it was made by Konami, it had a similar soundtrack, the main character used the whip and accessories similar to Castlevania, the life bar was the same, and the character in the title screen was very similar to Simon Belmont in Castlevania. Was this an arcade version of Castlevania? I mean, I was kind of surprised that I never heard of it because I loved the Castlevania games. I even owned and loved the N64 version which everyone hated but I stuck it out and beat the game. And I didn't think it was half bad either. So I had to get to the bottom of this. I had to figure it out. And it turns out that it is a Castlevania game, more or less. You see the title of the Japanese version is, part of my Japanese, Akuma Joe Dracula, which translates to Demon Castle Dracula, the name of the Castlevania series over in Japan. Konami was working on Haunted Castle as a standalone title separate from the Castlevania series. However, the game was having some issues during the development stage. According to sources, the project was short staffed and in bad shape in terms of quality with a looming deadline. To salvage the project, Konami decided to recreate the game into the Castlevania series and shuffle some staff members who were currently working on Hot Chase to help out with Haunted Castle, one of which was game designer Masaki Kukino. Kukino stated in an interview, at that time, the graphics of the game were too low quality, so it was decided by the company to redraw all the graphics in one month, and it was decided to make the game in the style of the Dracula series which would be Castlevania at the time. So it's not much of a remake as it is a game with a similar atmosphere and theme. Despite this, Haunted Castle was still considered by Konami to be a remake of the first Castlevania. So Haunted Castle turned out to be a total production nightmare. And with all these factors working against the game, it's of little surprise why the game did horribly in the arcades and was trounced on by critics and fans of the series. A lot of the flaws has to do with the gameplay, but I'll get to that after I explain the story. In in this game, you control Simon Belmont on a mission to rescue his kidnapped bride, Serena, from the clutches of the evil Count Dracula. You have to fight your way through six stages of undead craziness before your final showdown with the Count. At your disposal, you have your trusty whip, which can be upgraded to a spike flail or sword by destroying certain enemies. And there's also the usual Castlevania accessories like boomerangs and stopwatches, as well as crosses, torches, and bombs. You can carry only one accessory at a time, and you can increase the amount of times you can use it by collecting hearts. Now the game is hard. I mean, it's really hard. It's up there with Karnoff and Ghosts and Goblins. What makes this game difficult is a number of reasons. First, not only does the character walk kinda funny, but controlling him feels slightly stiff and rigid. Some of the enemies take an incredible amount of damage depending on which version you're playing, and it doesn't matter how many credits you put in. You only have three continues before you start over from the beginning. You have a life meter similar to the one in Castlevania, and you can use credits to refill your heart, but this will decrease the amount of times you can continue. Personally, I can barely make it to the castle. Fun fact, composer Kenichi Matsubara, who worked on the soundtrack for Castlevania II, Simon's Quest, also worked on the soundtrack for Haunted Castle. Also, the stained glass night at the end of the banquet room stage may have been inspired by the stained glass night in the 1985 movie, Young Sherlock Holmes. Haunted Castle is included in the Arcade Hits Anniversary Collection for the PS4, Xbox One, the Switch, and the PC via Steam. Again, this game suffered from a number of production problems, but if you look at the game as a whole, it doesn't look half bad. It did have some unique aspects, nicely rendered sprites, and some of the bosses like the Golem, Frankenstein, and Dracula were pretty were rendered pretty nicely. I feel like if they had a little bit more time to polish up the game and make the necessary adjustments, I truly believe the game would have lived up to be a worthy Castlevania title. So if you're curious and a glutton for punishment, I say grab your whip and crucifixes, play this game, and let me know what you think.